Broadcasting from Cal High School, Monday, February 12th. This is your bump report. Let's get started. First up, let's talk about today's events and media. Over the weekend, our dance team competed at Charles Flower High School. As predicted, they brought home many trophies. They came in second for hip hop and first in jazz, lyrical, and palm. Congratulations, ladies. Today, we begin our week of basketball, among other sports. Our freshman basketball team will be heading over to Polytech High School in Delaware to take on the Panthers. This game will begin at 4 p.m. Here at home, our Lady Buccaneers on both the JV and varsity basketball teams will be hosting the Southern High School Lady Bulldogs. These games will start at 4.30 with varsity at approximately 6 p.m. As always, good luck to all our Bucks. Good morning, Bucks. We've got a high 47 and a low 42 today. Today we're going to have some clouds throughout the day and then at the end maybe some rain. Be safe out there, Bucks. All right, so Miss Carla's got the noodles cooking, so we'll be quick here. What's for lunch? Spaghetti and meatballs with breadsticks and carrots. And on the burger line, it's your favorite, your chicken tendies and biscuit. And on the pizza line, sausage. Have a nice day. In honor of Black History Month, today we're highlighting the poet James Baldwin. Baldwin was an American essayist, novelist, and playwright whose passion on the subject of race in America made him an important voice, particularly in the 1950s and early 1960s. His best known for writing My Father's House and Go Tell It on the Mountain, which stands as a particularly autobiographical account on his youth. You should check out Minty Caden. Minty Caden was a black woman from Calvert County, Maryland, born in 1785. During the War of 1812, she escaped enslavement and joined the British forces as a washerwoman for their troops. Minty Caden is an important figure in history as records show she and Phyllis Caden were joined together in union under the Methodist Church. In a time where enslaved people were unable to get officially married, it is amazing to discover that two formerly enslaved black women were able to get their union recognized. Black queer experiences are often left out of our history books, so it's important to learn and teach others about these stories. Learn more about African American history during Black History Month. Hey Box, are you hoping to get some kisses on Valentine's Day? Come to the Media Center on Monday or Tuesday to guess the number of Hershey kisses. The person who's closest will win all the kisses on Wednesday. We're hosting free color guard clinics for anyone interested in doing color guard for the KHS marching band. Our first clinic is next Monday, February 12th from 6 to 8 p.m. and we're going to meet in the band room. Email Ms. Scully with the link down below for more information. The Interact Club will be meeting directly after school today in Portable 3. We will be signing up for more volunteer opportunities and need to display our lunch and serve items. For questions, please contact Mrs. Phelps. And now for a look ahead. Join the French Club tomorrow as they recognize Mardi Gras. The celebration will begin directly after school in room 157. For questions, please contact Mrs. Pantuza. The National English Honor Society will meet this Wednesday directly after school in room 104. For questions, please contact Ms. Duplichane. The Coding Club will meet on Wednesday after school in room 206. See Mr. Corner with any questions. There will be a dance company interest meeting February 15th starting at 2.30. Please come if you are interested in being in the spring show that is being held May 3rd. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Wright. That's all the time we have today. Have a great day and we'll see you right back here tomorrow. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day.